Hello, everyone. Welcome. <clears throat> you can see I'm dressed in my official cold Canadian <laughs> streaming outfit. Uh, it's cold this morning. Um, welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, and uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but uh, yesterday, uh, I think it was yesterday, WordPress, no, oh, yeah, yesterday, WordPress 5.9 dropped. And then once you go update, it's got some really cool things in it. Um, full site editing is part of it. It's super cool. Uh, we are doing, um, I'm in the midst of a stream, not a stream, a series of that with, uh, with, um, yeah, uh, with, uh, um, Daisy Olson, who actually is not going to be joining us today. So we're going to continue with the topic that we were streaming last week, which was converting a widget into a custom block. Daisy is, um, uh, got a bunch of other stuff, uh, scheduled conflict and her being under the, under the weather last week, uh, pushed this out a bit further. So hopefully next week we will finish up part three of doing the, um, uh, the block theme stuff. And now the five nines out, it'd be a little easier for everyone to get up to speed. Um, and you know, you don't need to have the Gutenberg plugin and all that good stuff and installed. Hey, Aruba, yes, it's Canadian streaming out outfit. The only thing I don't have is a parka that makes my arms stick out like this oh thanks for the follow um i i jero 89 appreciate you um cool so anyways um to recap what we did last week we um we were building a block um version of a widget so let me just uh do a couple things here so uh, before I, I i dive in i'm just going to say i i use local for my local development environment um, you can use whatever you like. I just find it easy to set up. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so that's what I've been using for since the beginning of the streams. So I just have that up and running uh, and I am, um, hey, Craig Funk, welcome. Thank you. Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. I appreciate uh, you stopping by. Um, <clears throat> cool, so uh, anyways, um, I have the Gutenberg plugin installed but I'm gonna actually just deactivate it. Um, for now, I'm gonna deactivate all my old plugins. The, uh, I, oh, I should mention also that we have a repo. So all the code for this and all streams end up in that repo that I just dropped it into the chat. So you can go in there and every stream is its own branch. It's all been merged into trunk though and there's a bit of a recap in there. So all, all the code is for you, it's yours. Do with it as you will. I apologize for typos and performance issues ahead of time. Um, but so we started building this block last week uh, that I'm calling contributor props. And it's basically a block version of, um, uh, uh widget, where is this thing? Core. Uh, why is it not showing up? Oh, wait, hold on. What do I have enabled here? Okay, sorry, I just updated this to 5.9 yes, or today, this morning, so as I'm sure there's probably some things. Uh, okay, so we go into the widgets. I should be able to add um, con contributor props, that's ours. Where the heck, oh, there it is. So core uh, contribution. So basically what we wanna do is we're gonna do a, a we're doing a block version of this. Um, so we, uh, and we're going to do it, um, as a, uh, we're gonna do it as a um, as a block, so we can be used anywhere. So then, when we do get a sidebar in our in our full site in our our uh, block theme, uh, we can add that in. Um, and so that's that. So this one this one has two variations of the widget. It's got a core contributions, which will take you out to track. Um, and uh, where is my track username? I think it's just Welcher. Let me just do that. And we'll just see. There we go. No, that can't be right. I do not have. It's Ryan Walter. I should probably just like look that up. Nope. Some something, something's up here. Uh, Fifty-five tickets. That's a bit better. Yeah. So so this will actually just link out to um, uh, the um, uh, to get uh, where am I here? So yeah, here we go. So this is individual tickets for on uh, on core dot on track. So this is for like the WordPress core side of things. And then if you want to see all the tickets, all the props that I've I've got, I don't know why you would, but if you want to see all the props, uh, they are all here. Um, and so what we've built so far is um, this thing. 
So we've got um, well, it's apparently broken. So let's see why it's broken. Uh, console. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, basically, what this is is doing is doing functionally the same thing. I've got it linking out to the to the Gutenberg props. So this is the all list of uh, commits that I've been part of that I've been able to get into Gutenberg. Um, yeah, so I think we left off that we were we were pulling stuff in and then we ran into API limitations, which is always good times. Um, so uh, we're I have a couple of things that I want to do there. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, let me know if you can't see this one. I got a new monitor last week. So every time I every time I stream, I change something. So it's always like YOLO. Let's see how this works. So hopefully we're good. Um, yeah, if you can't see anything, let me know and I'll zoom it in. But basically, uh, we have this this plugin here. We use the create block package to scaffold this out for us. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so we have our edit function. And what we're doing now is we're hitting, we're using a use effect hook here uh, so that if the username or the prop name changes, um, which, um, so what we have here is we've got some options that we added to our block here. So we've got my username and then we've got, oops, sorry. And then we've got the prop count, which I started at three and I've limited to 12. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to put in there is, is up to you. So, but what we don't want to do is keep hitting this API all the time. It doesn't make any sense. This is just literally for a preview for the author, like whoever's putting this together. We don't, we don't like this isn't, we're going to handle the actual rendering on the front end via PHP. Um, th this is a dynamic block. So the front end uh, uh, is, is not, is not saved to the, the post content. It just, uh, it's rendered on the fly via PHP. So, so we just need this for a preview. So I'm going to cache it. Um, so the idea here is I'm going to, um, I'm going to cache it. And I've done this before in, uh, in uh, other stuff. So what we're, I think all we're doing now is when we hit that, we're getting a console that said, yeah. So this just shows me all the, all the commits here, right? So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to jam it into session storage. <clears throat> so what I want to do here, I'm going to do const, um, this is going to be my, uh, we'll call it a uh, storage key, right? And um, there's probably some, some, uh, libraries out here. Like if I was doing this on the PHP side, I probably would like MD5 hash it, take a bunch of stuff, MD5 hash it and save it as that. Um, I don't know if we need to per se. This isn't really for security. This isn't really like, we just want to make sure that whatever the key is, it's, the, it's reproducible every single time. So all, all I'm going to do is take the username like that, and I'm going to underscore, and I'm going to do prop count like this, right? Ba boom, 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 boom. And that's my storage key. Um, and then uh, just so I'm just going to, I'm going to um, comment this out because I don't want to hit the API thing. Um, the API limit. That's, that's the thing. That's the technical term API thing. I, I, I don't want to hit the um, technical limit yet. So anyways, I'm going to just console log out the storage key um, because I want to, I want to make sure it's like going to work. Right. So I'm going to just reload this. And then every time, every time something, I'm going to clear this. Every time one of these options changes, we should get a new, that's not, oh, you know why that's happening? <laughs> I didn't do a build. So let me, let me do that. I'm using um, terminal iterm, sorry. And I get a CD into my plugin. So plugins, contributor props, NPM run start. Um, <clears throat> if you're new to this, um, NPM run start is provided by the scripts package, um, the WordPress scripts package. And it's a, it's a watch build command in Webpack. So. Uh, anyway, so let's let's run that again because we should not be getting shouldn't be getting this stuff. Um, and I'm gonna reload and see what happens. I'm gonna clear that out. So again, I just want to what I want to have happen here is I want it to. There we go. So that's just the key, right? So if I change this to something else, it's just gonna change the key. Um, and the whole point of this is so I have a reproducible key that I can then I can put in session storage and then I can pull out of session storage because by the, the nature of props and the nature of like contributing is that is that it's not 
I mean, unless you're like Riyadh or like, you know, someone who is like maybe on the core development team, you, the, the amount of props are not going to change that quickly. I, I mean, it'd be cool if it did, but we don't need to really worry about that too much. This is just more about the display and then the front end will actually handle the most recent um, props for you to destroy uh, or uh, commits for you to uh, display. Okay, cool. So we have this. So now what I should be able to do is, is if, um, is it session storage dot get item uh, store uh, storage key. Then we're going to say, so that log, um, we have this data. Display it, this display it. Okay, uh, I'm missing one of those things on there. And then I'm gonna say else, uh, console.log, uh, fresh query required. Cool, so sessions. Oh, do I have to do window? I think this is just ESLint yelling at me. I think I have to do that. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens here. Uh, welcome to the chat, uh, everyone. All right, so, oh, you know what? This is never gonna work because we're not, okay. <laughs> so I'm not actually saving anything. So what I'm gonna do here is, so we're gonna, the first thing we'll do is we need to make the query, make the query, which is what this does, right? And then we're gonna uh, set the data. Um, and then we're gonna uh, set the storage key. Storage key. Okay. Oh man. So what we need to do window dot um, session storage dot uh, set item, and we got to give it the name of uh, storage key. Right. To do, and then we're gonna say this is data. Okay, cool. All right, so, and we should see this working anyways in the browser. So, uh, cool, so now let's, let's, let's just clear this. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set this to four, and it says, oh, fresh query re required, then back to three. We have this data, display it, cool. That's all we need to do. Another approach can be to just use the max number of items once, then for display purposes, only display the correct number of items. Yep. Totally, you could totally do that, Adam. Um, it, yeah, you could totally do that. Um, I just, yeah, yeah. We just have to do an initial query to get everything. And then, um, you know what, it's not a bad idea. We can do it that way. Uh, open the chat, okay. Um, yeah, I guess you do have your max number. You could do like, okay, so why don't we do that? Actually, that's that's a fantastic idea. So to do that, I think what we'll do is we'll use another use effect hook um, because we want the use effect to run immediately, right? So when this block look, when this block runs, we want to do this, right? So let's take this, right, like that. Um, and, okay, so, yeah, so uh, bu 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 bu. I think we can still, we'll probably still do this though. I think, but instead of um, instead of having a, a dynamic um, session key, we'll just use like I'll define a constant somewhere. Um, sure, let's do it here. Const uh, storage key. Oh my god, storage. You know, you know how hard it is to type with your finger on the caps and the shift button. <laughs> Uh, Gutenberg, Gutenberg, commit, commits. Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna say if when get item set storage key, then we're gonna display that. Otherwise, do this, and then we're gonna set the storage key to the data. All right, so then we'll grab this in here. Um, this is just in case you come back to it later. Um, Okay, so we're gonna make the query. Boop. Which is here. 
This is absolutely two ways of doing kind of the same thing. This is probably a cleaner one. You only make one call at the very beginning. Um, now, the only problem you'll run into here is if, is if you know the number of props change while you're editing, but we don't really care about that. But that is something to keep in mind. And if you need to like get a fresh query, you need to, we'll need to do some things to make that happen. And then what we'll do is, um, we're gonna do another const. You know what? I like to do this. I, I don't know how, how other people work, but um, I like to have a constants file. And then I can just export them. Um, export, come on now. Export default. Can, I, can you export a default object like that? Is that possible? Right. Guess we'll find out in a minute here. Looks right. And then we're, we're going to do um, commit count. And I'm going to set this to uh, whatever the top number is. What did I say? What did I set it to? Oh, range control. Okay, cool. So we're going to, I'm going to change that to a. Um, constant because we'll access that my watch is binging oh just some tweet stuff okay so let's see now so i should be able to get some constants out of here so i can go uh, import we'll say storage from come on from dot constants so we should have storage key available to us and we have uh, uh nope what do i call that thing commit Oh boy, <laughs> commit count. Okay, uh, why does it give me grief? Hmm, I'll do it this way. Uh, export const. Oh, because I'm just exporting, okay, anyways, whatever, storage. Copy and paste because nobody wants to watch me type horribly, and then we'll just do it this way. And then I think I do it like this, right? What am I doing wrong here? Yeah, I just my the default thing was messing me up there. Um, welcome to chat, everyone. Uh, okay, so we got we got this um, storage key not found in constants. It's right, stupid. It's right there. Am I am I the only one that is now? the deuce all right well maybe this is hold on let's just see what happens here export default edit function what did i do what the heck <laughs> what the deuce? Uh, <laughs> am I forgetting basic JavaScript thing? Uh, okay, you know what? I think I don't understand why this is doing this. So we're gonna do it like this. Can somebody help me? What's going on here? Why is that not working? This is so dumb. Okay. Why does that not? It doesn't, but that doesn't make any sense. That, that should absolutely work. Anyway, okay, well, whatever. I'll figure that out later. If anyone, well, let's be honest. When someone who's smarter than me, because everyone in this room is, um, 
tells me why this isn't working, um, that'd be good. Export const storage key that I'm now obsessed with this. So if I just do like that, no, whatever, forget it. I don't care. I don't care anymore. You've now offended me. Imports, JavaScript imports. All right, we're going to do that. Commit count. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to I'm just do this. Commit count max. Commit count min. And then I'll set this to three, and then we can do it that way. Scroll down the bottom. We'll do this. All right, cool. So that's that, that's that, that's that. So what I want to do then is in my use effect, this is the initial uh, call to hydrate the uh, commit list, All right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the username because the username is gonna be different. Um, and then we're going to uh, pass, uh, what's this, commit count max, is that what I called it? What is going on here? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, cool. Let me get rid of this. I'll figure this out later. Okay, so I've got these constants. Great, awesome, wicked. All right, so this should now give me 12 commits for this username. Um, we're also gonna wanna make sure that we have username. Um, uh, well, where, where should we put that? I'm gonna say if, uh, I guess username, username, yeah, oops, nope. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wrap it in, in, in an if statement here, cause why? Hmm, okay, well, okay, I'm gonna, this is just being dumb right now. Get rid of that for now. Okay, so the idea is that we should have a username. We don't have a username. This I don't know what this is going to return. We'll find out in a minute. Um, cool. So there we go. So let's go. Um, let's make sure something's something's afoot here. What's going on? Okay, that looked like it worked. All right, let's refresh this. Um, Jeff, I will send you a GIF of me saying what 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 the deuce for uh, for Christmas. I'll send it to you for Christmas. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So we got that. So we don't have the data. So what we need to do, so we've got, okay. So we don't have this data. We need to display it. So let's just see what happens here. I'm going to do this. Let me go into here. I'm going to go into application, session storage. I'm just going to clear it all for, for this particular application. So now we should get among the mix, the, uh, there, uh, Hmm, is that what this is doing? Yeah, that's what this is doing. Okay, too many use effects at the moment. So let's refresh this application. We're gonna get rid of this data. Oh, okay, so it, it is adding it. It's just uh, a little bit confusing there, I think. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it looks like it happened. So let's see, let's go through our consoles. Um, so that is the data. Okay, so it didn't... Okay, cool. So it did, it's not calling this because we haven't saved it. So if I refresh this now, we should get a message that says we have this data displayed. Now the data will be completely wrong, but that's that's fine. We have this data displayed. I don't know if you saw that pop up there. Uh, right there. So, okay, once we have the data, what I wanna do is two things. So in this function, where we're, we've now converted the data, right? Um, we're gonna do two things. This is where we're gonna set the data, the data, and we're gonna set that into um, a state variable, right? So we're gonna use, take, take use state from, um, from WordPress element, which is an abstraction layer for, the line there isn't any more, but I think your import Finally, it was constant, not constants. Really? Aruba, you're the best. Let me just, let's, let's check. Let's check, check, check. Let's go in here and we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna just uh, do this. 
This is why I need smarter people than me in this call, in this call, in this, um, in this chat. What am I saying? In this stream? Thanks. Import from, what do they call it? Constants, const, constants. So let's, let's see what happens now. Now this should, storage key, commit max. Oh, I think you're right. I think it's probably what I was doing wrong. So let's see. So now I'm not getting at any, any errors. Aruba, high five, virtual high five, wham! I need to have like a like a like a chat command for virtual high five or something. I don't know. I gotta do I, I gotta do cooler things on my stream. Looks like my bot is welcoming you back to the chat again. I gotta <laughs> maybe I have to fix that. Anyways, okay. So we we've made the query, which is good to go. Oh, thanks for the follow, Jerry XB. Appreciate you. Uh, okay, so we're gonna set the data. So we're gonna set the data using set props. I'm gonna uncomment that though. Set props. And we're going to just take the data, pass it here. Oh. Uh, just Saki, Saki, thank you for the follow. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of your name. And then we're gonna take this window, we're gonna set the storage key here as well so we can get it back later. And then we're gonna take the data and we're gonna do this. Now we might need to, I think we might need to JSON stringify this. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I think that's what we need to do. So we need to be sure that when we bring it back, we turn it into actual JSON. So let's see what happens here. So we'll get rid of this. Uh, okay, so let's let's run this now. I'm going to just uh, reset the application to get rid of my um, thing, my thing, the thing. There we go. So Gutenberg commits. All right, so we've got this is a pretty big object. There's tons of things in, in there. Cool. So what am I doing? Put that back in there. <clears throat> okay, so that's got us data. It's great. So the next part. So now we have this data, right? So if we have it, we're going to say const um, stored data equals um, can we do this in, in JavaScript we do that all the time and like I, I do that all the time in PHP I think that's gonna be the problem um, anyways we'll just we'll just we'll just call it I don't I hate calling it twice um, oh, we'll just do it this way we'll do that and then we'll say if we have stored data, great success. Okay, we're going to um, set props, and but we're going to say uh, JSON to parse, parse, and then we're going to pass stored data. All right, that's cool. Okay, cool, awesome. So that's pretty much it. We also need to like. You know what, if there, okay, so in here, we're gonna do some defensive program. If, if there's no username stored, we're just going to return. I don't wanna do anything. We we'll probably just go, um, this is a trickster way of doing this. We'll probably just go and return, right? Can we do that? That doesn't seem right. There's a syntax there that I'm not, I'm not getting. Username, then I want to just return because we just don't need to do anything because without the username, we can't make the call. Uh... Yeah, without the username, we, we don't want to mess with this because this this is this case here, I think, is this is an, un, this is this would probably be a new block, um, a fresh, a fresh block, block just insert it. So we don't really care about that inserted, right? Okay. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking because maybe we should make <clears throat> username 
maybe we should make username a dependency because then if the username, so the username is not set, this is this because I, I have an empty array here. So with the way you, the, the user effect works, works is this is the dependency array. And if you just set an empty array, it will run once. Um, like when the block initially mounts. I wonder, um, let's just see what happens. Okay. Uh, my mind, I'm thinking here that like if, if so we don't have username when this in it, when we put this in, this is never going to run again unless we tell it to also watch it uh, to add, add, add user, uh, watch the username uh, attribute. So let me just see what happens if, um, okay, I'm going to get rid of this block. I'm going to get rid of the block, remove the block, I'm gonna insert props, contributor props. Okay, we have this data, display it. Hmm. Oh, because this is, ooh. No, that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, let me get rid of that because I don't want that. So what happened there was because I'm using the same, I'm using the same storage key. Every block will have access to that in the same session. So I, I just wanted to clear it, and I'm going to put it into this stuff. So we don't have. What did I just insert there? <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, that's that's fake. Okay, cool. So so we we don't actually have any data here. So if I change the username. Oh my God, what was that? I'm getting all kinds of errors. So it's not, okay, so it's not doing anything. Uh, I don't know why this is being weird. Interesting, interesting, okay. Um, so, what if I'm gonna make username thing here because until it has a username there's no point and if the username changes then we're gonna need a new list anyways um, yeah let's try that okay so I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of this block I'm gonna add my contributor props block okay it says it's loading it says it's hydrating there's nothing to hydrate that's weird okay so i go right in the well sure and now it's hydrating now we should have some gutenberg commits it's an empty array oh okay we got some issues here Okay. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm also going to put in prop count uh, in here. I'm going to use this for all all the stuff. So what I want to check here is say uh, const um, number to query. Query equals prop count or max commit count. No, this is what I want to do at all. Hmm. I'm gonna need two use effects here. So if, okay, so this is gonna hydrate. Hmm. I think this through a little better. Adam, you set me on a rabbit hole, man. It's good though, it's a good one. Um, so this will give me everything, but I need to be able to get it immediately, but it's reliant. No, it's all good, Adam. This is, that's a good way of doing it. That's a smart way of doing it. Cause we, we're only ever gonna have up to 12, right? But if we don't have a username, we're kind of SOL. Um, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make username the, yes, we're gonna make username. 
We're gonna make this change on every user. Okay, now I'm thinking about this better. So this, we ab absolutely need um, to do this for every username because if the username changes, it's a whole different set and we need to overwrite, overwrite the, the same thing. So what I'm gonna do here is this. So I'm gonna just hide this right now, okay? So this handles um, uh, for, for a user. I think I just needed to wrap my head around a bit better, Adam. Sorry, I blamed you, man. I appreciate you. Okay, so this is gonna get us the list of whatever the username is, right? There's no username. It should be returning. We should not have anything in here. All right. Oh, now we've got to, have I saved the username to this thing? I have, okay. Great, so that's cool. Um, so we have this this username. I don't know who else, what other username to use, um, but we have those. So let me just do this. I'm going to update, make sure there's no username in this block. Man, this screen real estate is kind of tricky here. You know what I might do? I might do that. And then that's not any better. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not bad. That's a little bit better way of doing it. Okay, cool. So now we've got this. We've got no username. I'm going to refresh this and see what we can do here. There's been a critical error on the site. Oh, have I just, have I just hit the API limit? Crap. Let's see. I think I may have just hit the API limit. Let's see. That's no good. All right, so, okay. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so why, where, what is happening here? Super weird. Okay, can we go in here? Okay. Okay, so it's definitely something to do this block. Okay, I gotta, I gotta fix the block. I think I have just hit the, the limit there. So I'm going to, I'm gonna do this and that should hopefully fix the issue. Oh, is it this thing? I think it might be this thing. Um, there is an error somewhere. Let's just, um, I'm just gonna return from here. I think I think I've hit the I think I've hit a API error, API limit. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So pay no attention to the to crap on the PHP side. <laughs> okay. So that's gonna make the rest of the stream a little bit difficult. Um, but we'll figure it out. Pretty sure I hit the API limit. Okay. Cool. So we have. So let's let's just keep working on this then. I should have thought that through a little better. Probably. Um, console. Console. No. Application. Where is that? Uh, application. So in here we've got nothing. Did it reload? see anything let's just see here okay Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Um, that's a bummer. Okay. 
So you know what I'm gonna do? Um, man, all right. Do I really have to? Do I really have to go and do that? I don't really want to have to. Uh, where is this thing? How do I authenticate? Oh, I don't want to go through all this. It seems silly. Um, hmm. I wonder if. Uh, I don't have a VPN service here. Oh, bummer. Okay, well, let's fake it. I'm going to grab some information, I'll grab all this stuff. Um, this is, this is just a desktop, um, um where'd that go? that thing gone uh download hello download <laughs> i can't save it okay uh let's do this let's just let's just do this i'm gonna go raw and grab this as text and we'll do it that way yay okay i'm gonna do a little new file i'm gonna go commits.json probably should have just done it like this to begin with there we go and i've got all these commits and what i'll do is um, wait, is this JSON? What is this? Just an array of data. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do export const commits. Commits equals array. Okay, so I'm gonna fake this data for now because I've hit the API endpoint because I'm a dope. Cool, so what I'll do here is I'm going to go import um, commits from, oh, did I export? Did I do a default export? Go on, get this out there. Um, export default const, oh, I can't do it that way. Export default commit. Nope. Commits. Cool. So now I'll just pull commits import from. Why is it doing this? Commits. Okay, so we should have commits in here now. So in the meantime, I'm going to just fake this. I'm gonna fake this. I'm just gonna go like that. And I'm gonna say, because I hit the limit, we're gonna go grab this stuff. I'm gonna say, boop, boop. And this'll be commits. I think this is gonna work. Let's just see. Any bets? Any bets in the chat as to whether or not I'm actually gonna be able to get this to work? Uh, okay, let's just do this. There we go. Yay! Much, much rejoicing. Okay, cool. So now we're back on track again. <laughs> you believe. Thanks, Adam. I believe in you. What's that Ted Lasso joke? Do you believe in, jo in jokes? Yes, and I think that they should believe in themselves too. <laughs> I like that. Okay, cool. So, all right. So now we've got our data. 
however we we get it we we, we have our data so um, what, what I'm gonna do now is do a use effect that will change <sighs> Um, we need to get rid of this, and this is not what I want anymore. We want the storage key. All right, we want this. We have the data, and we got the storage key. We're not gonna actually do this again anymore. We're gonna change this completely, actually, because um, what we need, actually, no, we're not. We we don't. If we don't have that, we're not gonna query it, right? Because we don't. That should have been handled already, in theory. Um, and if the username, then this should re-query re it anyways. Um, I feel like the storage key should probably be based on our username, but that's a different, that's a, that's a story for a different day. Uh, so we're not gonna care about the username. What we're gonna do is when the prop count changes, we're gonna get the data. This is gonna be the, um, commit list equals, um, I'm gonna do this, do that, do, and then if we have the commit list, right, um, uh, console.log commit list, maybe we should get it. And this should only ever happen with the prop counts change. So now let's see. Uh, let's see. Go over the console. Everyone can read this okay, right? Okay, so I got this. Got my options. So the prop count changes. Okay, so I'm showing the prop count, which is ridiculous. But okay, so what we need to do then? So, um,. So we need to fill, okay, so I'm gonna do, what I wanna be able to do is take the list. Um, okay, so we need, we need, so this, we can't change this data. This is the full list, full list of commits, right? And then we'll be worried about that right now. So then if, if we have this, then we need to create um, and maybe we need a, a second use state. Um, this uh, props to display. I don't know any any ideas in here. I think using a second state because this 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 state is going to be different. But then I want to use that to be able to generate the list. So that's that's what I want to do. Um, Props to display. All right, so then down here, we'll say if there are props to display, we're gonna end up looping in there, but we'll do that later. Right, and then, okay, so do, 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 do. So if we have a commit list, we're gonna say const, um, <clears throat> whatever const uh, list equals uh, commit list uh, for, no. Uh, do we need, what do we want to do here? Map. No. I think a for each is the way to do it here, right? For each. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. What are we doing here? So commit lips. No. No, that's a four. Four. For each, uh, let, I uh, will say i is equal to zero, right? Am I doing this right? Tell me if I'm not. i is less than um, prop count. And then i plus, uh, plus plus. Oh, you, look at you. That's so much better. Of course, I'm gonna slice up that. You're so smart. Uh, commit list equals commit list. God, I I feel like I've never written JavaScript at all anymore. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, prop count. That's all I want. Now, yeah, okay, cool. Because 
I was gonna like try to pull the data out because we there's only a few things that we need, but maybe I'll do a little helper function to do that. So actually, instead of making this, I'm just gonna say slice returns an array, does it not? So I should be able to say um, should be able to just call this set props to display. Um, oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna use props here instead of commit list because we're storing that in memory anyway. So then I'm gonna say set props to dis display. I'm gonna say props slice prop count. Why is that giving me grief? Okay, so, so this should set the ones I need. We don't need that. On prop counts, okay, and then in here we're going to uh, do some things. So should be able to do What's the best way to do? Can I just do this like that in there and do like props to display dot map? And then what is it item? Can I do it like this? I always get I always get confused on this particular particular thing here. So I just um, then I just return data. Yeah, should be able to map. Yeah, but inside of okay. Yeah, I should dot map. Mm, I think it's because I'm trying to do it inside of JSX. I think it's giving me griefs here. Um. We do it up here. We do that. Oh, I gotta put that like this, right? And this should be uh, what? Uh, that'd be a function, I think. And then I can just say return. Um, do no, oh, whatever. Okay, so um, that I don't need. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, so um, I think that'll 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 spit out what I want to spit out. Welcome to the chat, Jeff Paul. Welcome back to the chat. <laughs> uh, oh, this encountered an error and cannot be recovered. You cannot read properties of undefined reading map. Okay. Um, I think that's what I need. Never left. Yeah, my bot doesn't know what it's doing. I need to figure it out. Okay, so that's that looks like it works. Okay, so what I want to do then is I want to be able to basically. Um, like crazy in here so I don't know if this is
I think that should be able to give me my loading state back. And then can I just get rid of this now? Ah, what? <laughs> What's the problem? Oh, what did I do here? Uh, what needs to have a single... Oops, did I, did I break something here? Get rid of the UL. Closing the section tag that's somewhere I shouldn't be. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. What's this? This is okay, cool. That's fine. Nesting for the win. Okay, so if I refresh this now, um, let me change the pop count. Okay, so let's do what we need to do. So we got there we go. So we're getting the props that we need now. Uh, we'll just ignore that little error that I don't know what the hell it's doing. So we got that. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do is I want to be able to get the items out of this prop. So in here, we're going to have a few things. Um, let's take a look at, not that one, not this one. So in here, we need the message. Probably need the message. And then what's the actual URL? For, oh, the HTML URL. So I think we only need, no, not the parent message. Verification. What am I looking at here? Parse. There we go. So we look at the first item. Got the commit author, the message, the URL, which is not really what we want. The HTML URL. Okay, so we gotta go to commit message. Okay, so in here we can get we got commit, and then there's a message item in there, and then we got HTML URL. I think it's the URL that we want, right? There we go. So if I do this now, I'm going to just, I'm going to rename this as um, just URL. And we're going to put this in here. URL, and then I'm just going to plunk the whole message in. I think that's going to look, be a little, oh, wait, uh, like this. And what, oh, the key. Well, we need something for the key. Um, maybe the, they use the SHA. So that's probably the only thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ooh, commit real SHA. And then we'll set the key to sh nope, SHA. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, what are you doing? That's the one I want. Okay. So the message is going to be way too big. What I want to get is the, I just want to be able to get the message out of, um, out of here. Oh, what did I break? Let's see. Objects. What the deuce did I do? Um, Objects are not valid as a React child. They have found object keys, the author, commit a message tree, URL, kind of get verification. Oh, so am I grabbing the wrong thing? Must be grabbing the wrong thing. Commit message. Oh, I know what I did. Hurry. Met, commit. You have, to, you have to do it like this. Um, and then I want the message. I was just, I was, I was destructuring it improperly. What I was, what I was actually doing there was I was taking the whole commit object and <laughs> what the deuce maple syrup Come on. Uh, but that should now just give me the message from the commit object there, there we go. Uh, let's try it. oh that's the wrong page let's try this again reload pull this down so we can see it and that doesn't look like it's too bad there we go um I don't hate that actually do you what do you think do you what do you all think do we hate having the full message in there. I mean, in some cases, it's just going to be ridiculous. Like this is ridiculous, but uh, um, I, don't, I don't mind it. Uh, but well, you know what we don't need 
is we certainly don't need the, H the href in there. We just, we don't even need this. All we need to do is just show the message to get a, uh, a sense of it. And then we don't, we don't, we don't need this because we're not actually linking anywhere. So it's just for display. Cool. So we got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. Reload. Okay. It's so now getting a loading, loading thing here. Props to display. Props to display. Oh, I see. What if we just do this? And then, I wonder, I wonder if that'll just work. There's some, there's some loading things we get up here. Oh yeah, that broke. I bet prop count is not defined or something. Oh, let's see what the error was there. Yeah, so, um, hmm, I know what we'll do. We'll make it so that if the props change, then that then this i think that's the problem again this is just like a lot the data loading logic issue we got to figure out here let's just see okay and let's oh loaded oh look at that and we got three and now we've got 12. great perfect okay that's awesome welcome to the chat welcome to the chat it just something popped up in my console, so I just read it out loud. That's how I am. If I see, you know, oh look, a butterfly. Cool. Uh, awesome. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna say that we're good here. Um, we you can we can do some things with this if if we'd like um, to you know get this message down. Like in the original the original widget only had like the commit number. Um, I kind of like having this sort of the context of, of it there, but we'll kind of see how, how, how it works. Now, one thing we could probably do is in our, in our, um, in our block.json, we could probably add some supports. We could do uh, color, uh, let's go actually, maybe, maybe what we might want to do is do some typo typography with a font size and set it to true. And so now, so this is, this is tied into some really cool stuff. We could do a theme uh, JSON, but this will actually enable some some controls. So we don't really need to, you know, do a lot of the other stuff. So if we go to typography now down here, we can say we want the font size. So let's make it maybe small, right? So we can adjust this. Now th this I I didn't do anything to add this. This is just part of the API, and it's very very cool. And with theme JSON and five nine and all the cool stuff that's coming with it, with full site editing and block themes, you can opt in and opt out and control the, this stuff on a block level. It's really, really cool. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and I might have, we're gonna have to, and actually I'm interested to see how I can take this and, and, and mess with it on the PHP side because we're gonna need to figure that out too. Um, great. So I am gonna call the front end, sorry, the, the admin side pretty much done. So let's jump over to the front end now, which is not this one, it's this one. So let's see what happens. So we have nothing in here because I basically um, got rid of it all. So I'm gonna just take this. All right, so I added some PHP CS to this. So it's giving me grief about a bunch of things. I'm just gonna make some changes. What is that? One line after the file comments, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Um, I got sick of my um, I, I got sick of my IDE yelling at me because it can't, it couldn't find what it needed. Okay, so I'm gonna disable this and see. So that's that's yelling at me there. And that's yelling at me there. And then, okay. So the idea here, I'm gonna just turn this on because I I don't want to mess with the API stuff again. Uh, okay, so the idea here is that we are going to. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is query the, um, actually we're going to 
check the cache for um, something to display. Something, something to display. All right, then we're gonna say, um, then it's, you know, if we have it, then we're gonna uh, three, two, display whatever we have. We have. So this is sort of like a like a 1.2, 1.1. Uh, get it if we need it. So the caching for this is going to be a bit more persistent. It's not going to be storage. It's going to be done in using the transient API. So if you never use the transient API, I, I'm choosing it for a particular reason. So object caching is a thing in, inside of WordPress <clears throat> um, where you can use like memcache or Redis or whatever it is on the server to like cache stuff. So you don't have to hit, hit the server every single time. Now we can also use it for expensive API calls, which is what we're doing here. Um, and the reason I'm choosing the, the transient API over like the WP object get, like WP cache get, WP cache, WP cache set is that if there is no, because the, like I might release this block um, into the block directory once I clean it up a bit. I, I don't know, I'll probably do a stream on that. But the idea is that if, if you don't, if you can't guarantee that you have object caching in place, um, like in memory object caching, if you use the transient API, it will first check to see, is there like, do I have memcache? No, cool. Then I'm going to save this as an option. So it's something that you have to keep in mind, but you're going to get a bit of a cache every single time. Now, if you were trying to cache for performance reasons, like if you were trying to do a really massive WP query call, I would not recommend doing it this way. Um, because if you're storing a ton of stuff, it still has to hit the database if there's an option. But if we're trying to avoid API limits, which is exactly what we're doing here, it's not a bad solution. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, cool. Um, okay. So so we're we're gonna take the the same approach here. So the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna need to, to look for our um, our cache key. Cache key. Right is actually we're gonna to need to get some things out of the, um, I should explain what, what I'm doing here, I think. Okay, so when we have a dynamic block, uh, we what we do is, um, when we have a, di a dynamic block, we render on the PHP side. So we we, we pass a uh, an array to our register block type call with, um, uh, with a render callback property, or sorry, index, and then the function that needs to call when we actually wanna render this thing. And that's, I've called it contributor props, so in here. And it takes three parameters. The first is the attributes of the block. The second is the content of the block, which would apply if you have an inner blocks instance in there. And then you have the entire block instance itself. So you can get some, some other things out of there. And we'll mess around with that sort of as we get there. So the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna to need to get a couple of variables. So we want to know the username, you know, is, is what I'm gonna say is set. And then it's so attributes is an object is an array. I love how it doesn't do that. So we're gonna go username. I'm gonna check to make sure that username is set. If it's set, um, if it's set, we're gonna use it. If it's not, we're going to pass false. Now you might be saying, why don't you use the null coalesce? operator I don't this probably won't validate to null um, so that's why I want to set this and then if you set this to false then you can just say if no username return don't do anything right and then we're gonna do the same thing why is this giving me grief what is this all about what oh that's why okay and then we want prop count prop count I'm gonna call this prop count and I'm going to line up some equal signs. So PHP CS quits yelling at me. And we're going to use that. We're going to use that. Cool, 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 cool. And I'm too used to what is going on here. There we go. <laughs> PHP CS, you're a pain in the ass. Okay. So, um, okay. So first thing I'm going to say is if no, uh, if no username, right? We don't have a username, uh, or we don't have a prop count. No, and 
We don't have a username. We're gonna just return. We're just we're just gonna bail. Um, nothing to display here. Nothing to see here. See here, and we're gonna just return because if you don't have a username, we can't even make we, we can't make a query. There's no point in you e even attempting, and uh, we don't really want to display anything because it could mean that you saved and you didn't get like your block has not been configured properly. So we don't want to mess with that. So we'll just say nothing to see here and return. Okay. Now, if we do have a username, um, yeah, we should, uh, I think, hold on. I think I have the default prop count. I'm gonna set the default to three because that's the, the minimum. So what'll happen here is that um, in, in, in this case, what'll happen is that this is, this is always gonna be set. It's either gonna be set to the number that they scroll, that they move the range control to, or it's gonna be set, set to three. So there's almost no chance of it being set to false. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a cache key. We're gonna call it, um, we're gonna go uh, yeah. username underscore, I don't know why I did that with the Southern accent, prop count, All right? So that's gonna be our cache key. Cool, so uh, Transient API, I have some information on the Transient API. I will link to you, link it for you in the chat. You can have a read at your own your own pace. So we're gonna use that. But, so what I wanna do is I wanna basically check, um, I'm gonna use, I can't even see that, sorry. Let, let me zoom in, sorry. So we're gonna use this little tricksy piece of code here. So basically, what we want to do is something like this. This is a really great example, and it's something that that you, you'll do all the time, right? Um, so what I want to say is, if basically what this is telling me me to do is, if the cache key, okay. Um, why does it give me going to some? Uh, I'm just going to ignore that because dumb. Um, okay, check for the transient. Okay, I'm I'm going to change. I like this. I really like this format, but PHPCS is screaming at me about doing this assignment and checking thing. So the first, well, so we'll we'll check for the um, we'll check for the transient. I'm going to call this props. Right, and then we're gonna check for the cache key in get transient, right? And that's basically what we're doing. What just happened there? <laughs> uh, what? And then apparently that just died on me? That's strange, okay, so. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna check for the transient if we have it. So basically if props is false, I'm just gonna replace it. So if props is false, this is where we would actually make make the query, right? So we're gonna say, we're gonna make the query. And our query in, in this case is going to be this stuff, right? So make the query, right? And we're gonna call WP remote get, I gotta clean this up a little bit. But we also have to add the, um, what is it? Uh, and per page, okay, and per page. So we're gonna add, <sighs> I'm gonna do this a different way. There's um, there's a function in WordPress and it's like uh, uh, Word, I can't remember what it's called, WordPress um, uh, URL, query params, I think, query params. And, no, query. Um, Add params, add query arg, I think that, that might be it. Yeah, so this is what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it this way because I wanna escape some, uh, some of these things. So I'm gonna call URL is equal to, and I'm gonna take, this is the base U, URL, I'm gonna pass it in here. And uh, a couple of years ago, there was a, there was like, there was a, a security issue where you're escaping URLs and things like that. Add query. Thank you, David. I didn't see that in the chat. I appreciate you. Um, and we're going to add an array here. And I think it's, wait, is that right? Let me look. 
Yeah, so it's an array of key value pairs. Okay, so we're gonna go, this is gonna be author. Anyways, uh, what, what I was saying was, this is a, a, like a cleaner way of doing this because you can actually escape each one of these items. Um, and we're gonna go uh, escape, I'm gonna escape HTML. Maybe escape attribute is the better one. Um, but we'll see. So this is this is just gonna make sure we don't in introduce any kind of weird, um, um, any anything that's unsavory, right? And then we're gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna put some spacing in there because PHPCS hates me. And this is gonna be per page, per, oops. This will be per page, I think. And then we'll get that, we'll get prop count out of there. You know what, we've got this, I'm just gonna do it this way. Username, prop count. Okay. Why is that thing giving me great fear? What's going on? Oh, that's. Oops. Ah, come on. What is giving me great fear? Oh, stupid align thing. Is that why? I didn't do that. Oh, so dumb. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with that particular rule. Okay, so then we're going to take the URL and we're going to pass it just in here. Uh, and so that should give us the fully formed U URL and it, it kind of cleans the code up a little bit for us here. And then we are going to set the transient. Um, we're going to set, okay, we need to get it from the cache key and then we're going to need to set the cache key. We need to set the props. And I'm just going to do it. Um, this is fine. There's a whole bunch of these constants defined that you can use, um, which which makes your life a little easier. Um, we'll just set it for for 12 hours. Why not? Um, okay. And so this is the get it if we need it part. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so we'll get rid of that. Okay. So now, um, so now we should have props available to us here. So, so, so the idea being that like. <clears throat> We're gonna check for it, and if this is not true, then it gets redefined down here, and so then we can use props anywhere. And this is where we have it here. Um, so let's return this, and let's just see. I think I have to put that back. I don't know what is yelling at me here. Array keys must be, okay. I used to be really, really good about this stuff, but I can't remember it half the time anymore. Uh, I don't know why that's yelling at me. What is this? Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so let's see what happens on this thing. And there we go. So, 3778. Okay, cool. So that, that's, that's working. And pay no attention to the utter surprise in my voice. <laughs> um, okay, so we are going to do this. We're gonna get rid of this pregmatch stuff. I just wanna use the message. I'm just gonna put the message right in here. And what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna come out of PHP. I just find this easier, right? And then, uh, then we can just add back in the escaping functions that we want. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna add this raw HTML, or I don't know about raw HTML, but we're gonna go PHP, PHP echo, and then we'll say escape, uh, HTML because we don't want we don't want to display any HTML in here and if there is any in there it should be escaped as HTML entities anyways um, oh god okay and then in here we're gonna do something similar we're gonna go PHP um, echo oh my god E C H O uh, escape URL. URL, because again, we want to make sure there's nothing, nothing bad in here. URL and boom, boom, and it's gonna give me grief in a second. So if I get rid of this, then we should get our list of um.
Okay, so we've got this. Now that should take us to the thing that we did. If we come back here and we set this back up to, let's set it to 12, I'll we'll update this. Refresh this, we should get 12. Let's see the typography. I set the font size to like the smallest. I don't know if font, oh, okay. We'll go extra small, update, fresh. Okay, that looks like it's working. So what happens if I do this? Okay, so we, okay. Uh, so it looks like we need to get that class happening. So let's, let's figure out where that is. Okay, cool. So, um, I'm going to, what's this? Why is this yelling at me? Uh, okay, that's probably it. And that's it. And why, oh, double quotes. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, we have some other, we have some other uh, props up here. So I'm gonna say title is, is set, attributes title. I'm gonna use it, otherwise I'm gonna just set it to an empty string and then change this to title and change this to title and then tell it do that, drop down here to wherever title is being used. Um, title, and then we're gonna escape you shall tell. And I don't know why this thing keeps yelling at me, because it's fine, okay. So in here we should probably, um, you're just outputting strings it's a good practice to just at least mark it for translation so if you don't end up um what is it um escape i don't oh, know you can go escape html and echo and then in here and then we should we have we put our um why are you being what? Oh, right there. And I don't have any idea. I can't remember off the top of my head, but we call the plugin domain. So we'll do that. Is it in here? I think it might be right in here with me. Text domain, contributor props. Okay, so we'll do this down here. Cool. Uh, this needs. Um, I'm just going to do this. Use that same approach that I used before. Um, oops. Call this all. Oops. All props, porps, <laughs> P-R-O-P-Ips, link. Show of hands, how many people cannot handle how badly I type in a live environment? It's okay, you can be honest. Judging by the number of um, visitors or viewers I currently have, I would imagine it's probably pretty good. Uh, okay, and then in here. Go escape URL. And then we'll drop that in there. And then. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. Okay, I'm gonna add some no refer stuff in here. And I'm gonna open this up in a blank tab because we, want, we don't want to lose visitors on our site. Ruba, I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> it's uh, I'm getting better, but I just I'm not a very good typer. It's it's funny. I've been doing this for 18 years, and I'm just not good at typing apparently. So um, that's okay. All right, cool. So we got base. We got a pretty functional thing going on here now. Let's let's see. Um, I want to make sure that we are actually we're actually getting this from cash. So if we have this in in cash, I mean, we're just going to see it. We're going to. I'm going to just do this. This is like the most uh, low key. On your life. Yeah, that's true. I'm uh, panicking on the inside for sure. So let's see. Okay, so. That's great. So this means we're actually hitting cache. So we're not we're not actually um, um, we are not requerying this API every single time. That's exactly what you want. You don't want to slow your page down for an API that's going to return the same results, right? If you're like me, 
Um, I don't know why my bot keeps doing that. People aren't, if you're, if you're not leaving, uh, let me know <laughs> because I got to figure that out. I'm, I, I wrote my own, poorly wrote my own bot. So I got to figure out what that's about. I just want to be able to welcome people in the chat, but not welcome them a thousand times. So I don't know what that's about. Um, okay. So now let's look at, um, oops. what I want to look at now is why that's doing that. Um, what's your problem? Oh, okay. So I think there's a class name being assigned in here somewhere. Uh, if we inspect this, we can probably see that there's a class. Uh, and I think that's the class right there. Uh, it has extra font size. So I, can you see that? Sorry, let me zoom that in. So this, so we defined a font, uh, font in integration. Um, uh, cool. Not to call you out. Sorry, Rube, I'm not trying to call you out. You're welcome to come and go as you, as, as you would like. And I appreciate you being here in any way. I'm just trying to debug my, uh, my, um, um, bot a little bit. Um, anyways, um, so there's this class that gets generated and added. So I'm, I want to see what we get back from classes you know, on the um, PHP side. So to do that, I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to var dump out a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to var dump out the attributes because I don't know if, the, if it, that's going to be part of the class name, but we'll soon see. So let's refresh this. So in here, font size extra small so i have this prop hmm. okay so that's interesting okay that's good to know so now let's see what is on block instance i'm wondering if there's a like if i can get the actual class name that exact class name from block instance so this is block font size and HTML. So you can see there's a ton of things in, in here that we have access to. Well, access to some things. So this is protected. So we probably won't be able to get at that. Okay. I'm like showing all these things. Okay. So let's see what happens. So where's class name? Hmm, extra small. Okay, so what's the name of that thing? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be doing this a, a bit wrong. Has extra small font size. So let's let's just add that. Let's add that class um, to, I guess here. So class equals has extra small font size. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be what we want here though. Oh, let's, let's, let's not do this anymore. Nope, it didn't seem to do it. All right, let's look. And so there's some classes that have absolutely been defined. So we need to figure those out. Um, so let's see. Um, I think they're technically on the body class. Here somewhere, global, font family heading, um, global font size extra small. That's a variable though. Um, interesting. Okay. doesn't seem too, too helpful for me. Um, I know how we'll figure this out. Okay, let's let's see what happens if I add a paragraph block below it and I'm gonna do a bunch of text and then in my text settings, I'm gonna go to extra small 
update. And then if I go over here, I have extra small text. So what class is that getting? Has extra small font size. What? I put it in the wrong. Oh, oh dope. You know why it didn't work? Because I don't know how to do basic. <laughs> I don't know how to do basic, uh, basic HTMLing. All right, there we go. So that's. Oh boy, what's all this? Well, you can definitely see that there's some interesting things happening here in the, in the message of that. So there might be there might be some things that we want to like clean up and get rid of. Um, but I think what we can do. So we actually have so because we have font size now. So we can say font size, right? Um, it's an attribute. We should be able to build the. Um, if we look at attributes again, we should be able to come up here. Oh, what did I do? I probably didn't put a semicolon somewhere. Um, right, so switch over to here, do this. You can see we've got font size. So now if I just take font size and I, I can build that that string for the, for the um, so I'm gonna say font size class. What, my cap's locked. Equals. Um, uh, we're gonna go is set. What did I call it? Is it font size? We're gonna go ba boom. Has um I'll just say font size, font size, right? That's what I want. Uh, otherwise, we're just gonna go make it zero, make it zero, make it an empty string. Uh, no, that's, that's probably better doing it the correct way. And I'm gonna make all these things move up. All these things move up, all these things move up. And what? And so I should be able to do font size class now. And here I'm going to, I'm gonna, it should be echo escape. I'm gonna do ESC, ATTR, escape attribute for that. And then hopefully when I change on the back end, it'll change on the front end. So let's see. I'm gonna break this down to three. I'm gonna change the typography to gigantic, and hopefully it works. That's some that's some stellar design, Ryan. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, so I mean, we can we can we, we, we can we can definitely add some other things as well here. Um, we can add. Um, Uh, what am I doing? Oh, sorry, we we so we have font size in here, but we we can also add things like if we want to do font color, we can do colors as two two right. We can say we want the text. We want to be able to set the text color. Oh, oops, what am I doing here? Text is true. That needs to go away. All right. So now we'll have a control if I reload this in the admin. Uh, why is it doing that? That was weird. What's going on here? All right. Well, anyways, uh, so so now we've got we've got color, so we can set uh, you know the color of the text, which is needs to which is handling this but doesn't look like it's actually messing with uh in here i gotta i gotta this <laughs> font size is ridiculous 
I'm gonna make it uh, like whatever. Where's default? Default. Um, so we've got in here, we've got color. It's actually setting the background color too, which is strange, but we got that. And then, so okay, so it is actually setting color. If we update all that, I don't think we're gonna get anything out of here. We're not. So we're gonna need to generate those classes as well. Uh, so when you're working with dynamic blocks, it's definitely a bit, bit a bit of a bit more manual work you have to do. Um, although dynamic block block class names. Um, What is this thing called? Uh, oh, there's some PHP. Block supports, let's look here. So, I'm whipping through here, just trying to see if there's an easier way to be able to get these class names that are that, that have been defined. Insert or multiple reusable space. This is just not really what I need. Hmm. That's what I'm looking for right there. So I think what I can do, I mean, okay. So that was a function that looks like it's going to output all of the generated stuff that I need. So if I do that, because I th thought that would be, a, that's a way better way of doing it. So let's look, um, okay, what do we got in here? So in here, look at this. So it's got all the classes and everything we need. That's amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it right on the opening wrapper, just like I had done here, like that. And we'll just, hopefully, I, I should, so I shouldn't need this font size class anymore. I, this should all just get inherited um, from those things. So let's just switch. There we go, sweet. So if I make a change here now, and I change the, the font size, I'm gonna make it uh, whatever extra small and I'm gonna make the colors this color and this color that's hard, hard to read we'll do whatever this and this oh wait uh yep, that's that's right that and that let's do that okay update come over here and it gets everything okay cool that's that's awesome um I'm pretty excited with that so um yeah so this block is pretty much done, I think. The only thing that I, I need to do is see if we can actually get back to the, um, if we can avoid um, the API. So let me let me, let me me get back in here. Where are we here? I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go to my edit. And I'm gonna just get rid of this. And I'm gonna see if I can actually do a fetch this way. And we will come in here and we'll delete this block and delete this block. Okay, update this. We're gonna add a new props. We also need a much better. Um, so that says loading. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go Ryan Voucher. Hmm, okay, so let's... I don't like the way that... I don't like how that looks. Um, we got time. Come with me on this journey of cleaning up this UI a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is... <laughs> why do I talk like I'm... I have a... Uh, like I'm in Monty Python, the gatekeeper of the, 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 the knowledge. Join me, if you will, on this adventure. Uh, Ryan, well, sure... Seems to still be updating that. Is that where is that getting that from? And I'm gonna go.
Oh my god, come on. That is interesting. Hmm. I think I found an error. So if the username, the username changes, it keeps querying the same thing. Well, that's just a bummer. Okay, so I need to know when the username changes. pretty much time here um so the issue that i'm running into it looks like as i'm <clears throat> so once i have that set in cache it and I, if i change the username it doesn't it just it doesn't care it, it, it doesn't say oh you changed the, the username so you need to i need to make a query so i wonder if i should i think i'm doing a lot with user effect right now like if I should have an initial one, the handle that, okay. So if there's no username, then it returns. And then, I'm gonna figure that out. It doesn't seem to be doing that. So like if I add, hold on. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm going to do. I think the storage key needs to be augmented because we need to have the, because the storage key is always the same, but it should be a storage key based on the username. So we were gonna do before, Adam. Oh, it looks at the camera over here, it's not his. Adam. <laughs> So I'm gonna do this and take username. I'm gonna put it in there. That's the plan. And then I can take the storage key and update that. Because then when it changes, this will fail. This stored data will fail. So let's try that again. Is Adam even on? Adam, if you're on the call, I'm just joking with you. A call. I keep saying call. If you're on the the the, the stream here, I'm just joking with you. So yeah. Hmm, something's not, something's not working. Something is not working. So, hmm, don't know why it's not working. <laughs> okay, so that's something I, I we, we, we're gonna have to debounce this or something. Um, that's definitely not what we want. All right, yup, yup, yup. Okay, yeah. <sighs> okay, so that's technically working, but it's not. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it because this is this is like a bit more in the weeds than I have time to do. I think the rest of this call. Um, but the idea is basically, um, I need to know when I'm when I stop typing. That's what I need to do. Um, I mean, I could add a button. I guess. I guess I could add a button to do that. But I don't. I don't really want to. I wanted to know when I'm done typing and then make a query. So I have to do some debouncing or something. But anyways, I'm gonna call it here. This has been a ton of fun. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, I'm gonna be pushing all this code up to the repository after this. I have to also edit this video and last week's video and get those on, on YouTube, so I apologize. Aruba, it's always fun having you here and helping me with my basic JavaScript errors. So thank you, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so I think, I think that's it. And unless anyone has has any questions or anything, oh, again, uh, the repo is here. I will just do that. And um, yeah, next next week, I'm next week we're going to be finishing up our block theme stuff with Daisy. Um, we have uh, set aside some time to get that going, and so that that'll be done there. And then yeah, cool. Anyways, I will talk to you all later. Thanks, and have a good one.